In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Epson Workforce 110 portable printer with the MacBook. So first is to go to the MacBook screen, go to the web browser, type in Epson support, click on it, select Epson official support. Select Epson official support. We have to search our product, so type in Workforce WF110. And now you have to select Epson Workforce 110. Now it will display your printer. Scroll down. Select your operating system, Mac, you have to select the correct version here. So select your Mac operating system, click on the go. Scroll down. On this screen you will see the drivers and utilities, click on the download. Open this file, double click on it. Double click on this file, open, this is the download window and we have to download the drivers, click on the accept terms and conditions, continue, agree with the license, here are the options you are going to download and then click on the install, click yes. Click on the start, select wireless, add printer to my existing network or set up the or set up this computer to print over my network and then click on the continue. Select the first option, set up printer for the first time if your printer is not connected to the Wi-Fi network. So we have to select this. If your printer is already on the wireless network then you can select the second option. So select the first click continue recommended yes auto Wi-Fi connect click continue from this list you have to select your Wi-Fi enter your Wi-Fi password once you enter the password click on the continue now go to your printer on the printer display panel we have to click on the Wi-Fi setup. So scroll down, select Wi-Fi, scroll ahead and look for the Wi-Fi recommended, press OK and then go again, scroll ahead, select others, again scroll ahead and look for Wi-Fi auto connect, press OK and confirm, yes. The same process you can follow for a Windows laptop, now click on the continue. If the setup is not complete, you can go, you can also use the using the control panel and then click on the continue. This may happen if there is any problem with the wireless router. So continue, 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 continue. Now go to your printer display panel. On the main screen, click on the Wi-Fi setup then select Wi-Fi recommended press OK select the first option Wi-Fi setup wizard it will give you the list of Wi-Fi networks you just have to select your Wi-Fi and press OK use the keypad to enter the password of the home Wi-Fi and then enter the password here
Press OK to apply the password. Setup is complete. Press OK. Now go to your MacBook. Click on the printer is connected to my network. The printer was found. Click continue to proceed. So once you see the screen mark, click continue. Click on the print test page. So that will give a confirmation if our printer is definitely connected or not. So load some pages in the paper tray and then click on the print test page so let's check it so that is right the printer is connected and it has started to print it says congratulations you have successfully installed your new printer go to the macbook screen and then click on the continue if you want you can register your product or you can click no and you can do it later so it gives you the warranty details click continue click continue again We can see our printer with status and IP address. Click on the next. Select first option is printer registration and then click on the next. Press OK. agree with the terms and conditions click next you can also create an Epson account so if you don't want to register you can just cancel that and here you will see the you you will see the message on this screen printer is setup complete so click on the close now we can close all the windows and we can start using this printer for wireless print. Now we can start using this printer for wireless printing. Thanks for watching.